Hi there, Joka here from A Pocket Full of Happiness and in this video I'm going to show you another new die. This is a 5 by 7 inch uh, cover plate called Abstract Background and this one is um, also for those of you who like quick projects. At least I think this, this one is great uh, for mass producing. So um, I'm going to show you just one I created one, but I'm going to finish five cards because you see that I'm using five uh, colors. So that gives me five car uh, cards. And the one thing that I did on all cards is that I um, layered or I die cut some white panels and I layered um, sometimes one, well, mostly one, but sometimes even two layers of white cardstock behind every other die cut so either the second and the fourth or the first third and fifth uh, panels just so that uh, there is a bit of a variation and uh, interest to that background sometimes i also added um, a foam tape so that there is even a bit more dimension but other than that i created all of them the same and um, I will show you later all the products that I used for the, the sentiment. Um, here is the first one. This one is from the round and round background add-on. And I actually used all of those, uh, I believe. There's uh, altogether five of these circles. Um, one comes in the, um, the background itself. And then there is four in the add-on kit. So all of them I die cut from white and I uh, glued a white circle on the bottom so that it kept all the letters together because I wanted to add a little bit uh, of dimension with the color letters. Obviously these letters are super small so uh, I would not be able to handle them with my hands. Uh, I always use tweezers for small die cuts. In fact for larger ones as well. I <laughs> always have the tweezers in my hands. So um, I'm gluing these down and what I wanted on this particular one is um, add a, like a, a two color uh, sentiment because I wanted to place it on two sections of the background. So like two different colors and I wanted that to be tone on tone if that makes sense but then when i actually finished this i noticed that i used the wrong color not what i wanted so i die cut it again and i added the right color basically recolor that uh, small part of the sentiment so that one is actually now even more dimensional dimensional than the other section so um yeah that's what my plan was. And then generally uh, with each card I added uh, or try to add a different uh, design element in the middle of the card. For this one I used the Disco Alpha uh, Solid and Outline um, die sets to create the initial of my friend. So um, that is a birthday card for her and then uh, I add some I layered those together actually I uh, die cut the letter or both layers of the letter from uh, color cardstock and also from um, white cardstock and then layer them all so it has a bit more dimension and I also added some foam tape and uh, as a finish, finishing touch, I am adding some enamel dots. I had to edit out this whole process because it took me more time than the whole card itself. <laughs> uh, so this is the first version. And then the next one here, I used the, the new summer floral die set uh, for the Mother's Day card and some enamel dots in two different colors. Then... This one is Never Give Up Hope. Uh, I paired it with the Good Luck Clover, the smaller one. These are uh, This one is an older die set. This one is one of my oldest die sets, Stitched Hearts, and uh, the smallest heart I layered 
uh, in the middle. This one says sending hugs and positive vibes. I thought that fits with the heart and also some enamel dots. And then the last one is the simplest. Here I just used the new mini of uh, die to add dad in the middle for the best dad Father's Day card. I hope you like this one. I hope I could give you some ideas with it, uh, different ways to add a little bit of embellishment. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.